Venture Bros. The Movie. We all know HBO uh, alongside our favourite two creators have been working on this new project for ooh, a little bit of time now. Um, so let's see where we're at with updates. It's been a while since I checked in myself. Um, where are we at with the Venture Bros? So it's a very quick update to this video. As well as editing, we've got some more Venture Bros movie news. So first of all, Jackson Public is editing the sound mix as we speak. Um, this likely means more the animation is complete. Um, and the film could be out, hopefully, even earlier in the year. A lovely fan recently met Doc Hammer um, and had a little bit of information about the film as well. Um, and that is, and that's specifically that Doc thinks the film is going to be about 80 minutes and he's already watched it through multiple times. Uh, once again, meaning the animation is probably already done. Uh, and hopefully the film will be out even sooner than we expect. Um, they also chat about a few other things, uh, so I'll put a link to that little Reddit post in the uh, description down below, because it's worth, it's worth a glance. Alright, back to the video. Do we have to do some more recon? Um, are we able to figure out when this release date is going to be? Um, come on, 2023. God, I want the movie so bad. So, first and foremost, and possibly most importantly, um, we know most of our favourite characters are going to be recorded going to be returning. Um, Jay Zubank has said that he will be returning as Doc Venture um, and since we know we've got so that's Doc covered. Um, Patrick Warburton has also made a statement so we've got our biggest star back. He's coming back as Brock for one final season um, or one final episode. Um, so that's our two biggest names covered. Obviously uh, for the Venture family that really just leaves Hank uh, and since he is played by Jackson, I think we're probably going to see him returning since Jackson's definitely still on the creative team. Um, and I would hope he's voice acting since him and Doc Hammer do play half the characters in the show. Um, and since they're, and since all four of those prolific voice actors are coming back, um, that's a lot of our cast coming back. Um, Patrick Warburton made a rather large statement about his return, and I'm really glad because, I mean, even, um, I mean, this has been his probably longest ongoing role, lasting, got 18 years. Um, it must have had some impact on shaping the way his life turned out. <clears throat> and from the voice actor that plays Doc Venture, uh, we know that all of the voice lines have been recorded, the film is being made, and probably going to be released next year. Uh, that was from September uh, 2022. So... Fingers crossed for a, a release sometime at least before then. We've had it confirmed from Doc Hammer himself that surely will be returning. Maybe not everyone's priority favourite character, um, but definitely pretty high up on my list. So it's always nice to know we're going to have a bit more badassery from him. The script uh, for the special has been finished for well over a year now. Um, and... Oh, only a couple months later, we had the official synopsis for the episode, or the special. Um, so, we can work out some details from that, like Doc has finally actually invented something, hopefully all on his own this time. Um, but maybe minor spoilers, I'm going to read it out now. Doc's latest invention will either bankrupt the ventures or launch them to new heights. As Hank searches for himself, Dean searches for Hank. The monarch searches for answers, and a mysterious woman from their past threatens to bring the entire world crashing down upon them. Um, so hopefully, Rusty's love interest, possibly the boy's mother, possibly someone completely different, who knows, it's the Venture Bros, right? A completed background from Jackson Public. Um, which, again, means animation is well underway. As a, the, it seems very rep reminiscent of some of the season five um episodes especially episode seven um that lovely desert canyon after uh we've got a few new york landscapes obviously a large portion of the plot's probably going to take place there uh, i assume hank is batmanning it around in new york he might have gone over to new jersey you never know that's sort of where batman's from and also where the monarch's living right um, there's a lovely background of a like long train, and I'm really hoping we get 
um, Hank running away deep into the desert, uh, possibly back to the old compound via the train. Um, and I just think it's going to make her a lovely shot. I could really see Hank living up that train bum life. Uh, we do also have a shot of the old Venture compound, so maybe even more confirmation that Hank will be heading back there. A picture of the Monarch's bedroom. Um, a New York subway, again, maybe riding that train theme a little bit harder. And a picture of the world itself, which I can only hope is some lovely Star Wars-esque opening title scroll. But yeah, as for our release day, we have um, the lovely Doc Venture confirming it will be, hopefully, confirming that it will be next year. Uh, that was as of June 2022. Um, and we've seen one from September, so hopefully we're probably talking uh, late 2023. But in a very suspicious Reddit post that I have no way of verifying, um, we have Doc Venture doing a cameo with no actual video proof, which would be very easy to upload to the internet and completely confirm this but you know why would you give me that um he's he we have it confirmed that it will come in around sometime september next year do i believe that absolutely not but it seems about feasible so what do you think is going to happen in the movie when do you think it's come out i just want to have Basically, all I've been thinking about for the last day is this film. So, leave me as much as you possibly can about what you think is going to be in it in the comments below. Um, and I'll catch you next time.